Good evening, everyone. Um, I would like to give uh, God the thanks and praise for tonight. Um, and I would also like to thank my pastor, Carolina, for giving me the opportunity to stand before you this evening. Um, let us pray. Heavenly Father, I want to give you thanks and ask that you give favor within me for delivering your word tonight, Heavenly Father. And I, I ask that you also bless the ears who are listening of this lesson. Amen. Today's lesson is coming out of Isaiah in its entirety, Isaiah 1 through 12. Who has believed our report and whom has the arm of, of the Lord been revealed for he shall grow up before he him as a tender plant and as a root out of dry ground he has no form of comeliness and when we see him there is no beauty that we should desire him he is despised and rejected by men a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief and we hid as it were our faces from him he was despised and we did not esteem him surely he has bore our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we esteemed him stricken smitten by god and afflicted but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. All we like, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of all of all of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He was, he was led as a sheep to, to the slaughter and as a sheep before the shears is silent. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment and, he, and who will declare his generation? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of many people, he was stricken. And they made his grave with the wicked. But with the rich at his death, because he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. He has put him to grief when you make his soul an offering of sin he shall see his seed he shall prolong his days and the pleasure of the lord shall prosper in his hand he shall see the labor of his soul and be satisfied but his knowledge my righteous servant shall justify many for he shall bear the iniquities bear their iniquities therefore i will divide him a portion with great and he shall divide the spoil with the strong because he poured out his soul unto death and he was numbered with the transgression and he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressioners. The Lord's word is blessed. Chapter 53 speaks about how Jesus suffered for the sins of all people. You see, God pulled back the curtain of time in Isaiah's day to look ahead, to witness how the innocent son of God suffered, how Jesus sacrificed himself and bear the punishment we deserve 
so we could be healed from our sins and give his great gift of forgiveness for all mankind. Israel underestimate, underestimated the importance of the servant of God. They believed him to be just an ordinary man, person based on his physical appearance, not knowing he was born to bring salvation and healing. Jesus was rejected and despised by those around him and still by many today. Some rejected Christ, some stood against him and despised his great works. Jesus felt pain just as you and I would if we were rejected. But Jesus gave instructions to his disciples on how to handle rejection. He told them to shake it off. Don't let it bother you. Don't let it keep you from doing what you are called to do. Jesus told his disciples not to be concerned, not to concern themselves with the opinion of people. Because when you are rejected, you are doing the work of God. Because they who reject you are rejecting him. Jesus didn't let what others thought of him prevent him from fulfilling his purpose. And to let you know, you cannot control what other people think. So leave them and their opinions to God. Stay focused on God's will. So in the Old Testament, people sacrificed animals for their sins, but a single servant of God sacrificed himself for you and I. He sacrificed himself for our sins, for all people. Jesus suffered for our sake, making us acceptable to God. And still the Israelites could not see this. They could not see greatness and continue to reject and despise Jesus. The purpose of this righteous servant shall justify many. Humanity will become righteous, not by their own works, but by the excellent work of Jesus. The work Jesus has done on the cross. As the Israelites, we are also striped, stripped from the life of sin as we become clothed with the goodness of Christ. We as humans sometimes don't understand the righteousness and the goodness of Jesus. We as humans dwell in the past when we should celebrate what we know. And that's to celebrate Jesus, celebrate what he has done for us. Celebrate what we have been through and we have overcame that. Celebrate our past, our present, and our future. Because Jesus gave his life for us. He bore that, he bore the pain for us. And 
sometimes we seem to be ungrateful for what Jesus has done. And we need to transform ourselves and be grateful because we stand before each other every day. We see our families, we see our friends, we see our coworkers. Some of us suffer more than others, but God, he, ha he will bring us through. He said, believe in me, not much, but as small as a mustard seed. And that's a celebration because he said, ask and you shall receive. He said, believe in me and it will be delivered unto you. Celebrate everything that you have today, tomorrow, in the future. Because he has a lot of great things for us. So I leave you today with a thought because what we, don't under, what we don't know is without this great merciful love by the Son of God, humanity would have no life after death. And that's being with our God when we transgress. Amen.